Hi, I'm Brooke from MacArthur Public Library in Biddeford, Maine, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use some of the tools in Cloud Library when you're listening to an audiobook. So first off, you will go and open Cloud Library, and when you tap on My Books, it'll pull up everything that you have checked out. And for an audiobook, you tap on Listen to get started. So it'll open up to wherever you've left off. So if you're listening and you stop, it'll automatically remember your place. Um, and to, to listen or to start, you tap that triangle down in the bottom middle to, to, to begin listening. I am dreaming of the sea when they wake me. Actually, I'm dreaming of the night. And you tap it again to shut it off. Um, there's also some controls down there that allow you to move between tracks. I'm dreaming of the night that I caught core, but I can hear the sea in my dream. So hitting the one on the Chapter left four. and hitting the one on the right will bring you to the, the next chapter or the next track. So if you're... Ready. Sean. Chapter five. Brings you there. Pop. Um, the other handy thing is closer, those little um, circular arrows will bring you just 15 seconds backwards or forward in the, the story. I don't think that I sleep, but I do. This is trembling under my hands. I turn to look at Nut, and then I let the horse. So, and then if you want to go forward 15 seconds, you want to skip. And then I let the horse go. Bits that look like a mole has tunneled through them. The sky outside the that I wear anyway because Mum made it. So that's helpful if you just need to sort of skip back if you missed something and just need to go back 15 or 30 seconds. Up at the top left, you can change the speed of the narration, which is kind of a funny one. Anyway, because Mum made it. Staring at the contents of my dresser trying to decide what to wear to the beach. I don't know if it will be cold after I've been riding for a while. I don't know if I want to go down there dressed like a girl, when Joseph Berenger is probably going to be there looking at me like, her, her, her. Mostly I'm trying not to think grandiose things like, you will remember this day for the rest of your life. In the end, I just wear what I always wear. So that's, you know, it sounds like the chipmunks at the end, but sometimes um, people want to listen to things very rapidly. <laughs> In the middle um, is the sleep timer or a timer that also, let's say you only want to listen for 15 minutes or for um, 30 minutes and then it'll automatically shut off. You can use that. And then over on the right, um, the table of contents are there and you can skip between chapters this way and then use that slider to move um, between, to, to move forward and backwards in the chapter itself. Chapter seven, Puck. I didn't reckon that it would be awful, but the whole island is crammed onto the beach, it feels like, only to get the same results. And then the other part of this bookmarks and notes, um, if you've made any bookmarks, those will show up there. So you bookmark things by touching on the bookmark in the top right. And once you've set one, then it will show up there. So there it is. And if you touch it, it will return you to Same that place. Results. All of them say no to the ginger haired girl. They don't even consider it. One frowns and one laughs. Same results. All of them say no to the ginger haired girl. They don't even consider it. One frowns and one laughs and one doesn't even let me finish my sentence. By now it's lunchtime and my... So those are um, how you can bookmark a spot in it if you want to return to it later. So those are just some of the basics of tools you can use when listening to audiobooks. So if you have other questions or if we can help with anything, please give us a call or an email at MacArthur. We are happy to help and would love to hear from you. Thanks.